So Saturday, Kenneth and I bought e-bikes from Palmer Motorsports in Denver. So Sunday, we couldn't wait to find a trail to ride. We found Zach's Ford Mountain Bike Trails, and that's in Lenore. And so we took off and tried them out. I was glad that Kenneth was with me because some of the trails were a little bit more challenging. Um, they were well-maintained trails. Um, there were some features for the more advanced riders, so that's cool. It definitely would be an intermediate. Lots of switchbacks. That was the main thing. There wasn't anything that I couldn't do or couldn't get through. I just had a lot of times that I had to get off and walk my bike around the corner, especially when the switchbacks were downhill. Um, we rode the trail back the other way, and when the switchbacks were uphill, they were much better, and I could make a lot of them a little bit easier. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the bike, still trying to figure out when I'm supposed to pedal. Um, that was just a get off, you can see. Like, I cut out a lot of the switchback issues because I didn't figure you just wanted to watch me struggle the whole time. Um, it's only, like, our second... Oh, what I was saying is I... I'm tr still trying to figure out, like, the whole when to pedal to get over an obstacle and how to have my pedals and what gear to be in. And now with the e-bike, the new, you know, what motor part I should use. Um, I left mine oh. in the low one most of the time. Um, and Kenneth had his, like, in second and turbo. So maybe I would have had an easier time if I would have done that. I was just trying to get still a lot of workout. And you can tell... If you listen, I'm still breathing pretty hard. Like, it wasn't like a walk in the park. It's still, it's oh, still a good workout. <laughs> just not quite there. I don't know what I'm doing. You can hear lots of my struggles. Um, so, this is only, though, the second time on the e-bike and the first time on the trail. So, just give me a little bit of grace. It wasn't, like, the easiest thing ever. I'm trying to figure it out. And... We don't just go to easy trails. Like Kenneth just throws me to the wolves all the time and is like, oh, you're tough. You, you race your bike so you can just do it. But it always takes me a long time to learn something new. And I don't know why that is. I just have some mental blocks about it. Um, and the thing is, I've only had my other, my hard trail for two weeks. And I've rode it mostly on the greenway um, and up my street because of all the rain that we've had and then the hurricane and all the trails have just been shut down. I was fortunate enough to get to ride on the Fonta Flora Trail last Saturday with one of my friends, but then it's been closed ever since. And if it's closed, then Lake James is closed. So I haven't been able to ride those. Um, even though these trails were challenging, they were a lot of fun. Like I enjoyed them. There was a lot of stuff that I was confident about that I, I wasn't struggling the whole time. I think it would have been much more challenging if I was on my hardtail because th this is a lot of steep hills. There was a lot of steep climbs and so um, with the roots that were there and trying to climb those, I probably would have struggled a lot more. And like I said, I kept it in, the, in a high gear, like a hard gear, and only my first um, or what's called Echo on my bike because I still wanted to get a good workout, and I did. Um, the only bad thing about these trails is they're not very well marked, and they loop around, and so I really would hesitate to go on this trail by myself because I'm not a good navigator, and so I fear that I would get lost and not figure out what trail I'm on or that I've been on this trail already and loop back around and not be able to find where I was going. Um, so it was fun though. We had a great time here. Oh, so I did have a little run in with um, my oh, pedal, a root, and a uh, rock, and it kind of kicked me okay. off the seat and then it slammed my leg into my pedal. And then whenever I got home, I found out I had another place on the back of my leg where apparently I got it at another time. So um, gotta get used to keeping those feet on those pedals and not underneath them, so.